What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. Well, today, I figured, you know what? Let's just do something random. So, I haven't yet talked a whole bunch about this guy right here. It's the Evercade. And I figured, well, I mean, I am on a podcast that very often, almost every week, talks about this thing. Why don't I just get on behind the camera of my own channel and start spreading some Evercade love? And I think that's today exactly what I'm going to do. But I want to do it in a unique way. So, for today, I've picked Cartridge 1. That's the Atari Collection 1 cartridge from the Evercade. Now, what am I going to do with it? Well, there are 20 games on this cartridge. And I just so happen to have a 20-sided dice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this dice. And whatever the number is on the die is the game I'm going to play. So I know you guys won't be able to see exactly which number, but trust me, it'll be legit. All right, let's roll. That is the number 17. So again, I know you guys can't see this here, but it is the number 17. So I'm going to pick up this here. Let's see what we got here. So I'm just going to count from left to right all the way down until I get to 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 is a game that I am actually pretty fond of and that's video pinball. So let's crack this bad boy open, get this card out, and get to playing, shall we? All right, so we're in here, and let's get to playing some video pinball. Now, <clears throat> I know that um, they've, there's been times here where I've, uh, I've actually kind of said already that you know, this is this is one of those games that I've played in the past as a as a young kid. I used to sit right on the floor of my what used to be my my bedroom growing up, and I'd throw this in quite often actually, and just kind of just get entranced and play. And it is really cool to be able to have that experience. Um, not only. You know, I have a, a Retron and a copy of this game, of course. But, you know, being able to take this on the go, um, it's just definitely one of those games that's, like, kind of perfect on a, uh, you know, on a, lo on a long trip. You're just going to want to, like, brainless fun and sit around there and, and play. It's, it's definitely one that would be in my rotation for sure. And I think it's actually just a really cool game, even though... It is very basic, and I mean, as far as pinball goes, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are, you know, like pinball fanatics that are that would take one look at this and go, "Well, I mean, it's kind of pinball," um, but uh, you know, is it is it really, uh, you know, is it really good pinball? Um, I mean, I don't know. Like, I don't know a lot of people outside of um, outside of Crow that that, you know, are, are super, super pinball fans. But, I mean, I got to say, like, you know, I, I, like, I like myself some pinball, um, and I love playing the tables when I go into the arcades. But there's something about maybe just having access to this where I can play this game whenever I want and just, you know, kind of, kind of just sit here and relax and just kind of watch the numbers go up. <laughs> it's really... Uh, is really like you know because that's all you got on here is just you know you, you try to hit the uh, the key points where you can either hit the uh, Atari symbol or the numbers on the uh, on the other side or you try to get the 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 little uh, diamond shaped things there and you know just basically just run up the score I mean that that, that is purely like I guess if you asked somebody to distill physical pinball into a video game form back when this was created in I mean I don't know I know it says it right on right as I was 
putting on the cartridge, but I want to say uh, this 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 could have been an original launch title. So that this we're talking in the seventies now. You know, somebody distill this into a game that runs you know basically you know two two or or less bit here um, as far as graphics, and and this is what you come up with now. And I'll say like for the time. I mean, this game is pretty cool. I mean, it, it really is. Um, it's kind of impressive that, you know, you've got the... all the hallmarks of what makes pinball pinball in a game that, you know, programming-wise, if you if you took out its bare code and, and laid it and laid it bare, I mean, this, this can't be much more than a couple pages of code for sure. But there is something about it. You know, there really is something about it that, that just... That kind of makes it, it, makes it all work and makes it fun. It's definitely a game that I like hanging out with for sure, and playing. Let's see if, uh, let's see if we can get some more stuff going on here. So some about some some of the times that you play this game, <clears throat> you can really get in, um, a very good rhythm, and be able to to really, really kind of knock it out of the park score wise. And other times, you know, you, the, the ball so infrequently um, comes near you. It, it's, you know, it's almost like the game plays itself for a little bit. So sometimes you're at the mercy of, uh, you know, where the ball is deciding to go on the field. And, you know, you might have a split second uh, to, you know, I think I'm going to restart here. Um, just a split second to... Uh, to even react but but anyway i mean you know you want to talk about like breaking down the game as far as you know graphics sound like that kind of thing you know like fun factor that kind of thing if you're talking about like an old uh you know game pro review um yeah we could do that that that'd be kind of fun so i mean graphics obviously you know for the time even still for the time it's not going to really blow you away um you know, in in the in the realm of I don't want to put like numbers to it, but if in the realm from like amazing to kind of okay to meh, like kind of thing. I mean, this is certainly in the the lower categories. I mean, there's not much going on. You got your Atari symbol, you got your boxes, you got whatever. But it's still, I mean, there is something to be said about its simplicity too, because you do clearly know what's going on. Like you know, you've got your You've got your launcher on the uh, on the one side. You got your clearly defined uh, paddles. They do actually have pretty decent frames of motion in the in the uh, the the bumpers here, so you can you can clearly see you know how far um, you are hitting it or how how hard you're hitting it. And there seems to be a, a slight reactive nature to to moving it, so that's pretty cool. Um, you've got the little spinners and, you know, it's just like a kind of like a, a throwaway uh, set of animation, to be honest. So there's, you know, there's not, and then other than that, there's not really anything else that's going on. So, yeah, it, it would be kind of like in that mid category uh, for the graphics. I do like the fact that, you know, when you hit certain things, the whole screen flashes and that's that's kind of neat. And I th and I think if I remember correctly, there is a way in the. um in the original game that you could actually tilt the table to and you can get a, a little bit of like kind of kind of cheating it um just 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 a little because of course it would punish you if you if you pushed whatever the button combination was if you pushed it too far then you know it would it would uh it would go full and then you wouldn't be able to uh you wouldn't be able to move the, the paddles anymore or the bumpers anymore <clears throat> And then there's a there would be these two other holes that would show up, that would make sure that the ball fell in, uh, so you couldn't score anymore. But as far as the sounds go, the sounds are a, a little on the like kind of grating side for those that haven't played the original. They are a little bit to the like not pleasant side of the Atari kind of. Uh, I don't know how to how to put it. You know, 
because you know Atari sounds like sometimes you can you know they're all very very kind of uh, basic sounding, but some of the some of the sound engineers really did a fantastic job making the sounds work very well in the game, and and they, they work well in this game, but there are certain sounds that are very grating. Um, in particular, the, the sound of the ball bouncing on the sides of the of the level that you know, kind of like the the twangy kind of sound is it gets a little it gets a little grating after a while. But most of the other sounds are are not not too bad. I can I can definitely you know get get used to it and have gotten used to it. So. I mean, I guess, again, I'd put that in the mid-level, too, as far as the sound goes. And then, of course, you know, you get the fun factor, and, you know, I'm sitting here playing this game, and I went for another game because I wanted to continue to talk about it. Oh, that's cool. I sent it back down the, the launcher. That's cool. So it is definitely a game that I come back to and play, you know, not even just for this random fun kind of thing, but I, I also like I really I really do enjoy playing this game. So I mean, fun fact is right through the roof on me for this one. There's just no question that I I really enjoy this game and would recommend people like you know if you guys have um, Atari cartridge one or Atari collection one, which also means like do you have an Evercade because it comes with every single one of the the bundles comes with Atari collection one. Can definitely throw down and get in on this thing. I mean, it's a really cool, it's a really cool little game, and I was glad that I got the opportunity to take a couple minutes and sit down and relax and play a couple rounds with you guys. So anyway, we're gonna go over to the wrap up, and um, we'll see you in a second. All right, so that was a little fun kind of experiment, dealy. So. What did you guys think? Do you, know, you, do you want to see more of this kind of thing where I just kind of like randomly grab a game and, and kind of rap about it? I mean, this thing is really cool. And if you guys haven't checked it out already or you guys don't know what this thing is, hop on down below in the description. There'll be a link to the main Evercade website as, as well as a link to my buddy OEB Pete. His channel, he's been doing a lot of cool work about the Evercade as well as a number of other cool retro things. And of course, we do uh, jointly host the Evercast, which is a weekly podcast where we go through just about every game on every collection, give our little opinions and, and kind of talk about that a little bit. But I just thought today there wasn't a whole lot on the schedule that I needed, well, I had enough time to work on, I guess, let's say, to put out. But So I just kind of wanted to sit down and and hang out with you guys and play play a game. So, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. If not, hey, give it a thumbs whatever. And um, you know, don't forget too, if you like this kind of stuff and you want to see more of this retro goodness, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, uh, so you'll be notified anytime I go go ahead and do a posting. So until next time, we'll catch you for we'll catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we'll see you later. Team RTSC.BakeItIceCream.com